Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so uh, may the Lord Christ uh, rule over the universe forever and ever and the multiverse too. Uh, but yeah, uh, as per promise, example two here. And uh, this time we're going to show that cosine x converges to its Taylor series for any center A and for all x, right? And uh, because I'm not going to repeat what I said in example one, example one is a useful segue to this example. I urge you or encourage you, not urge, uh, to watch example one. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, we know that r sub n of x is this, right? And uh, when we want to show that a particular function f converges to its Taylor series, what we need to do is take the absolute value of r sub n and then uh, send n to infinity and show that it's equal to zero, right? As n goes to infinity, the absolute value of r sub n of x is equal to zero is what we have to uh, show. And c is picked in this interval a to x, right? Okay, okay. And uh, here, the first thing we should do is uh, figure out what the n plus first derivative for this function f uh, equal to cosine x has to be, right? So when f is equal to cos x, what is the n plus first derivative? Well, if f is cos x, we know that f prime is equal to negative sine x and f double prime is then equal to negative cos x. f triple prime is equal to negative, negative sine x, and so sine x. And then the fourth derivative is going to equal cos x. And if we keep going, we're just going to cycle back, right? Uh, from cos x, we go to negative sine x for the fifth derivative, and so on. So then we see that the n plus first derivative, and this time I'll show the argument, uh, has to be uh, one of these four guys. It has to be one of these four guys. It's got to be plus or minus sine x, or it's got to be plus or minus uh, cos x, right? It's one of these four. And so then we see that an absolute value, we see that an absolute value, this here, has got to be less or equal to 1. Because an absolute value in any one of these four guys is less or equal to 1, right? An absolute value. Yeah? Okay. That's useful. And then from there, uh, what we're going to do is say that uh, r sub n of x, right? r sub n of x, uh, which is equal to, uh, in this case, it's equal to uh, f, well, in all cases, it's equal to uh, the n plus first derivative evaluated at c. And so that's any one of these four guys evaluated at c. And we said that for any x, any one of these four guys, an absolute value is bounded by 1. So then fn uh, plus 1 of c, right, is going to be less or equal to 1. Uh, first, remember, like this here is going to be this right-hand side. But because this here is less or equal to 1, I could put uh, a less or equal to sign here and then basically neglect this because at most this is 1 in absolute value and just worry about the absolute value of um, x minus a to uh, x minus a to the n plus first power over um, n plus 1 factorial. Yeah? Okay. And um, of course, then that means well, um, my color coding <laughs> isn't working. This is supposed to be in blue. Uh, we'll live, we'll live. Yes, I'm skipping uh, some details. Ah, okay. I'm skipping some details because, like I said, you need to watch example one for all those details. But yeah, absolute value uh, required on this side too, right? And then now what we need to do is lim as n goes to infinity here, which is lim as n goes to infinity here, right? Now, uh, for this limit, uh, I already mentioned that I'll make a video of my Calc 1 section uh, proving this uh, limit that I'm going to write. Where should I write it? Uh, over here, I suppose, um, which is that uh, the limit is n goes to infinity of uh, x to the n over n factorial, you prove this using uh, the squeeze theorem. This here is equal to 0 uh, x in um, positive real, right? Okay, so this is equal to 0, and therefore it's easy to see that if this is equal to 0, this 2 is equal to 0. So that means that uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of uh, the absolute value of um, 
r sub n of x is uh, less or equal to zero. Oh man, this color coding thing. Um, right? It's less or equal to zero. And by construction, the smallest that r sub n of x could be is zero. So that means that I could say that uh, on the left side, zero is less or equal to uh, the limit is n goes to infinity of r sub n of x. And then by the squeeze theorem, if we have this, it means that this here, the limit is n goes to infinity of the absolute value of r sub n of x, uh, goes to zero. And so then that's what's required, as I said in example one, to show that a particular function converges to its uh, Taylor series. And so we've succeeded in the task, yeah? All right, cool. I hope you enjoyed this. And this might be my last example, but if there are enough views for uh, the two examples, then I'll make another example, example three. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, keep watching. Take care.